in the world of Ulos after a thousand years of peace. Dragul armies invade the land and forces you to a special mission. This is Roleplay Adventures. In this video, we'll show you an overview for this game and if you stay tuned till the end, you'll get a feel for how it plays. Coming up. Hi, it's Tarrant. It's Stella from Maple University. We're using a Tabletopia prototype version for the game to explain the rules today. And so, the rules and artwork you see here may not be final. Let's get to the Tabletopia. To be released in 2021, Role Player Adventures is a narrative-driven quest game containing dice manipulation puzzles and set in the Role Player universe. It was designed by Keith Mateka and Peter and James Ryan and published by Thunderworks Games. The game plays 1-4 to four players in 1-2 to two hours per session and is of light to medium complexity. The game is set in the roleplayer universe and can be played standalone or integrated with the original roleplayer game. We're showing you some components here from the introductory first scenario but will not reveal anything which will spoil the narrative. In Roleplayer Adventures, players are soldiers in the Kingsguard in Narlos following the war against the invading Dragul. Immediately, players are given a choice for a special mission by their commanding officers and will set off along one of the many possible narrative paths that the game offers. As they play, players will explore each scenario's map by moving their party marker from location to location. They may face a random encounter from the Tome of Encounters, or the predetermined location stories which drive the game's narrative. Each point in the game links to a numbered paragraph in one of the game's books, written in a vibrant fantasy style which players will read out loud. Many locations offer the players a choice of which pathway they should take. Within each scenario, as players explore, they will change the game and their narrative. They may gain keywords, which will change which storyline they follow at a given location. Or they may find items. Using one or more numbered items in a lettered location will lead players to a new passage of text which will advance their discoveries and stories. To break up the narrative, Roleplayer adventures will frequently take the players to a combat or skill check. These work slightly differently to each other, but both are a dice manipulation puzzle for the players to solve cooperatively. At its simplest, players draw coloured attribute dice at random from the bag, roll them, and hope to place dice of matching colour and number onto each of the test spaces. Left entirely to chance, this is almost mission impossible, but the team can spend stamina in the matching attribute to buy dice of the colours they need, and after the roll, can play cards up to their individual play limits to manipulate the dice into the numbers and colours they need. Players regain their cubes and cards only when the narrative gives them an option to rest, and at the cost of experience points, making the decision to balance resources important. Overall, this gives players the experience of a cooperative puzzle game in addition to the immersion of the adventure's narrative. Failing in combats and skill checks does not mean failing the scenario. It will just take the narrative in a different direction and may still yield experience points for the team. As the team plays, decisions and outcomes will be retained from session to session, changing the overall story's direction. The party will make decisions which change their favour with three key factions, which may open or close off options in later scenarios. The team can earn title cards, with more than 100 different cards available, which will lead the story in different directions. And between scenarios, players will spend experience points to increase their player statistics, and gold to add new cards to their hands, equipping themselves for the higher difficulty challenges awaiting in later adventures. Roleplayer Adventures has 11 scenarios, as well as an expansion exploring the backstories of all 41 playable characters. 
The different narrative options and the puzzle of the skill tests makes the campaign largely replayable, despite any information you may already know. And the game can be integrated with the original role player game using the method outlined in the rulebook to convert your role player characters into a format with role player adventures statistics. The cards in the game share their names and art with those familiar from other role player universe games, but of course are redesigned to include the dice manipulation actions appropriate for this game. And that's the overview of role player adventures. We hope that you enjoyed the video and we hope that it helps you. At the time of filming, Role Player Adventures is about to be launched on Kickstarter, so we'll put a link in the description below when it's live so you can check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to us. You can do that by hitting the meeple in the corner and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll know when we have new and exciting videos. You can also follow me on Instagram for my board games journey. And finally, if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please write them in the comment section below. Until next time!